Hi, this is Morgan Dreamus with RT Book Reviews, and I'm not even sure if I need to introduce my guest today. <laughs> this is Charlene Harris. Of course, Suki Sackhouse is your most famous character, probably because she's one of the finest characters ever written. Yes, I'm gushing, because I love your series so much. Thank you. Thank you. And we get um, the second to last book is out now, and that is Deadlocked. Uh, can you give us just a little bit of a taste of what readers are going to get when they open up Deadlocked? You know, it's it's really much business as usual. F some kidnappings, you Murders. know, a murderer or two, <laughs> you know, things like that. Vampire politics, werewolf politics, fairy politics. It's very much, a, you know, a slice of life. And of course, Sookie, who has to deal with like the everyday things of, you know, my car's not starting, my, you know, that's my potholes right. need filling in. And no, that's not a euphemism. That's actually. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Literal potholes. <laughs> And you and I heard you speak earlier today, and you were talking about how there is a major event there that is. happens. There is. Okay. Now I know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ask you to give it away because I'm gonna let all of all of the readers find out for themselves. However, I will ask: Were you a little bit nervous changing up your world so much now that your series is coming to an end? Was that in the back of your mind? Was that a worry for you? It is a worry because I want to resolve the issues in the books in a way that will leave readers going, okay, that's what happened, that's why it happened. Uh, and yet knowing that no, no resolution I can reach would ever make every reader happy. Well, why did you decide to say, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to bring this to a close. I'm going to give, I'm going to give Suki a little time off, maybe, considering the fact that you put her through the ringer through yes. the last, you know, how long, couple of years. Um, are, are you, um, what, what made you decide to say, okay, I, I feel good about letting, letting this come to a close? I don't want to let Suki down by writing books that are not written from the heart. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, I'm going to miss the the camaraderie of all the all those people. Uh, I hope I don't miss my readers. I hope they come with me into the new series. Ah, yes, and I heard a little bit about this. I'm super excited because you're taking some of the, the mystery, you're taking a little bit of the paranormal, uh -huh. you're taking this and you're actually already thinking about, okay, my next project. And so I, I, know, I know it's still kind of super secret, but you know the readers, they don't want to know right now. They want to yes, know a year, yeah, two yeah, years down yeah. the road. Is there anything you can tell us about the direction that you're going to be taking your, ser your next series? The next series will bring back some characters from other series that have really struck a chord with readers that I've enjoyed writing to and haven't gotten to write mm -hmm. uh, in a while, and uh, including Manfred from the Harper Connolly books, who is, he's fun to write, uh, and other new characters, and it's going to be an ensemble book more than that's really different for you it's, it's very different it's time for me to do something different i've loved suki but i i've reached the end of what i have to say about her and i don't want to do her a disservice right by writing her after i'm not enthusiastic well, you know I have to ask you about True Blood because it is one of the most phenomenal series on TV. Alan Ball is, and, and he of course is the, is the showrunner. Yeah. He does such an amazing job of taking your characters and being able to portray them on screen to where I really feel it's a very, it's a very true telling of, of your story. Do you find that? Why did, why did you choose to, to work with Alan and what it is about the way he, he puts your series on screen that, that you like so much? I think Alan is a genius. Uh, mm -hmm. I admire his work a lot. And when you get a chance to work with a guy who's won an Oscar, you know, you, you want to do that. Uh, he's a great talent. And I knew from his previous work that he got the mixture of pathos, blood, sex, uh, anguish, and humor that comprised the Suki books. Now, a little birdie told me that you're going to have a, possibly another television show. You're going to be... It, yes, uh, <laughs> though the papers have not been signed yet because it's just dragging out in the way these things do. It's very possible that the Harper Connolly books will be on sci-fi. 
And I love the Sci-Fi Network because I feel like fans of yours, that's that's the kind of stuff that we like to watch. Because I, I know from just my personal experience, I'm in the Sci-Fi Channel, I'm watching all these great, you know, great things and, and old yeah. Batter, Battlestar Galactica and just, it just that oh, yeah, feel, that the feel. Great. I feel like it really, it kind of fits you that it's, it's a little different, but it's super fun. And all of your stories, there's so much going on that I feel like the adaptations, like, they're so, they, they're so visual in the books that it really, it really goes to screen really easily. Although I'm sure it's a lot of work. Well, I'm sure it is, uh, <laughs> not my work. <laughs> uh, but I'm really looking forward to the whole process again uh, and very excited about uh, the series uh, being there for people to see. Uh, I love writing the Harper books, but I just, there again, I said everything I had to say about her. But it's nice to see it come to life in a different way. Does, do your characters, after you're done with them and after you give them their resolutions, do they ever kind of come back to you? Like, do you ever hear maybe Harper's voice in your head? Or when, when, Suki, when Suki ends, do you think you're still going to maybe get some of that, that residual, her, her still in your head a little bit? Well, I've lived with her longer than I've lived with anybody else, so that remains to be seen. Yeah, the, the not others... true. She has a husband 33 years <laughs> well, right that's here. that's true. So you've lived with him My, longer. Yeah, I have. <laughs> My fictional characters, I should have said. Uh, I don't hear the other voices in my head, but I've lived with Sookie for so long, maybe I will still hear her. I know that there's, that Sookie, throughout the books, over 10 books, she's gone through a lot of changes. She has. And, and she, started, she started out the books, she's very young, and, um, but she's a very strong character. Absolutely. And what, what did you find as you're writing her um, and you're, you're kind of piling more onto her? She has more talents. She has more, more supernatural creatures around her, more responsibilities. Yeah. Um, how did you find that you balanced out her being so young and with such a sharp learning curve in this world that she finds herself in? I think because she had always heard all the thoughts of other people and she knew the depths of wickedness and the, the heights of devotion people could reach, that though she hadn't had the personal experience, she had the mental knowledge of, of such emotions. So I think that helped her deal with the supernatural creatures. And so when we get her conclusion, because it kind of, time is running out for our, our Suki. Time it is, is running out. Um, so when we get to the conclusion, is she going to make that full transformation into a, I know that, that she is a very independent woman, but there, there are question marks she still has a lot to deal with. Is she going to get to that resolution to where we can put it down and say, I feel confident that she's going she's gonna to continue on and she's going to be successful in her life? Is that, is, that why, is that why she's coming to an end? I, you know, I've just told her story, um, and I hope that I end the books in a way that makes most people happy. <laughs> well, the problem is, is you have so many fans. Like I, I, I can't say that's a problem. It's it's a blessing but, and a curse. <laughs> it's a blessing. It's a blessing, but uh, sometimes fans have a real strong opinion about right. what I should write. And with all due respect to, to the fact that they're really invested in the characters, right. uh, I, I write my own books. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I mean, you've crafted the, these characters, you know what their responses are going to be. I do, yeah. I do. Well, this fan can say that I absolutely love your work. And no matter where you go, whether it be television shows and comic books, which you have out, um, yeah. new series, I am absolutely going to follow. I'm a devoted follower oh, of Charlene you. Harris. Thank you, Morgan. I hope, I hope other people come with you. I'll make them. <laughs> You're formidable. Well, thank you so much for talking with me today. Sure, sure. It was my pleasure. Thank you for inviting me.